Hello Aries and Crosswatchers, this is Amna from Tomitera and today we are doing your monthly love reading for the month of June 2019. Uh, please keep in mind that these are general messages so they may or may not resonate with you. If they resonate with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If they don't resonate with you, just let them fly and check out some other amazing tarot card readers on YouTube who you can resonate with. Um, also, um, I'm taking limited number of uh, personal readings. Um, so if you want to book a personal reading with me, uh, just uh, drop me an email and I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, my email address will be in the description box. If you want to donate to the channel, um, the, my PayPal account is in the description box down below as well. Um, before we begin uh, your reading, the V and I got during the pre-shuffle. Uh, that was pretty intense. Um, um, there was a feeling of um, being tied up, um, tied up like really, really tied up, and I was crying in my vision. Um, I'm not a crier, honestly speaking, but uh, I don't know why. Um, but anyways, um, I was tied up, maybe that's the reason. Um, and the more I was, um, you know, trying to free myself from uh, that particular situation, uh, the more it was reminding me of um, my helplessness and how... Um, but at the same time, I was having these you know um thoughts that uh what i'm gonna do once i get free i'm gonna you know uh i'm gonna see who did this to me and um maybe some of you are going through because energy is good so some of you might go through this sort of situation in terms of love where you will feel that you are being tied down um, against your will and um, you know that the person may be dominating or something um, but um, things like that and um, it might feel like as if uh, you know um, you are way too helpless and you cannot um, you cannot decipher the situation but um, honestly speaking there is nothing which cannot be deciphered so uh, play cool uh, during the month of May uh, let's see what the tarot has to say about you guys Knight of Wands, that's one good way to start a reading. Four of Wands in reverse. Star card in reverse. Mm. Here comes the witch card. Queen of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups in reverse. All right, we have a lot of reversals. These are too many. I don't know if you can see this or not, but your cards are flying everywhere. <laughs> the Moon card. Nine of Wands. Maybe I'll just. Okay. 
and the sun god. Okay. The world energy. The shadow card. Um, this is and this is also uh, the devil card. Could be dealing with the Capricorn here. Uh, I'm gonna keep it here. Look at that. Underneath it, we have page of wands. So. Alright, so I see you, um, in the beginning of the month you have this brand new opportunity sort of rushing, gushing towards you in your life, um, could be an affair, um, could be an affair, but a very passionate one, very, very, very passionate one, um, something um, someone who's really guarded someone who is um, because okay knight of wands is very passionate person um, he or she whoever you're dealing with so um, please don't mind me uh, using one particular gender in uh, you know it, don't keep the cards in this specific um, adjust them as per um, your situation and um, your um, what do you say? <laughs> Your situation, anyway. So, um, I see a lot of um, excitement about this person. I see a lot of action going on in your life. Uh, but um, this could also be because this is a card of movement so um, maybe you should expect something unexpected out of nowhere uh, someone um, someone might travel to be with you someone might travel to um, you know surprise you uh, because next we have four of wands which is uh, which is Four of Wands in reverse is not um, a bad card in the sense that it's not like you're not happy in this card. It's just that the happiness is still there, but there is an element of surprise to it. So somebody might, uh, you know, travel uh, to surprise you, somebody you really, really like, um, somebody who is probably a Sagittarius. Uh, so look out for Sagittarius it's a lot of fire, a lot of passion a um, lot of con uh, confidence and enthusiasm which this person is bringing towards you um, but at the same time I see you not so static about it with the star card in reverse um, you're like not you're, you're not welcoming this uh, new opportunity let's just put it that way um, uh, maybe you are um, maybe this person is not what you um, were hoping to welcome in your life maybe you're not ready for that much kind of excitement in your life um, I see you having doubts uh, I see you having pessimism. Um, sometimes when we are uh, we are surprised by something in life, we we go into uh, you know um, we go into a mode, a spiritual kind of block, uh, kind of mode where um, we don't know um, what this is about. We don't know this. This is a very fast moving energy, and here with the star card in reverse, we have some sort of delays. Um, we, this could be because of some mental blocks we'll get it from the mental um psychic blocks um we'll get it from the clarifiers why this star card is river is in reverse here and um then i see you towards the mid of the month um i see that you are Queen of Swords is here, but I don't see this as an opportunity. I see you taking on this energy of being um, being emotionally not available. Um, uh, could be anything. You're not um, opening up emotionally. You're you're like being secluded. You don't want to mingle much. You you're like I am my own person. I don't want to uh, you know. Um, I don't want to say give a damn, but um, this is that kind of energy for me. This is a bitch card, honestly speaking. Um, 
could be dealing with Libra as well um, but uh, at the same time um, your feelings are like your feelings are not um, you're you're in total control of your feelings you you're not um, you have built up walls against uh, uh, around you uh, which are um, you you've, you've gone into isolation you don't want to mingle um, you are um, you're very very um, I don't know you are some sort of you have some sort of vendetta um, you have some sort of vendetta against someone um, in this equation um, then we have this king of pentacles energy here uh, I see this as a new opportunity coming towards you probably, probably your emotionally closer is good because something happens uh, with this knight of wands or maybe uh, you're you are you will be getting frustrated by the delays uh, you will be frustrated by um, the energy you're going through um, and during this time period and then um, that makes you um, have this you know emotional boundaries created all around you uh, I see another opportunity coming towards which is at the heart of the reading the uh, Knight, uh, King of Pentacles he is a very very um, down to earth person a person who enjoys working um, work, he is a very hard working man um, he's someone um, who's always who's a workaholic honestly speaking who's always uh, but at the same time they're always worried about their finances and career a lot um, so um, uh, be be very uh, cautious of uh, this person because um, sometimes we expect a lot from people and uh, when the other person is way too career oriented or career focused because King of Pentacles is all about his money, all about his career, all about his finances um, but at the same time he's a very nurturing man, um, he or she again um, you know uh, not specifying any genders so the person is very hard working um, but career oriented so don't get um, don't get mad at them for being career oriented if they are um, you know currently focused on their finances uh, you need to accept that um, because uh, uh, I see king of pentacles as uh, the most hard working and determined person um, person with deep dark brown eyes um, I'm just giving some of the um, uh, you know um, feelings I'm getting um, sometimes when you look into the eyes of a person you can say a lot and this is a, this is that kind of person could be a Taurus um, and here's the Taurus energy um, they carry a lot of responsibility uh, they're very determined um, down to earth um, they have a, they have a lot of skills. They have a lot of, a lot of skills, and they are a master of a lot of skills. Um, they are nature bound, by the way. Um, very mature, very mature energy. So, somebody walking into your life um, in June again. If you have two, um, this could be someone from your you know um, a, a residual energy from your past so this is someone you had a very passionate connection with but this is someone you have a very mature connection this this is someone you can have a very mature connection with so um, it's your choice because um, uh, again I see seven of cups coming in reverse for you seven of cups in reverse is um, is a card of um, no options for me honestly speaking um, but at the same time um, like I said in my video this is also about uh, telling you not to take a decision um, because you are being in a fantasy you are being in illusion um, seven of uh, cups is a card of illusion and fantasy to me as well so don't make up any decisions uh, any any decisions which are you know uh, which might affect your future uh, maybe uh, it's regarding love maybe it's about um, being
yeah if you if you are taking on the energy of the queen of souls it means you're being emotionally closed off you could also be focusing on other things um your career or something like that but don't make any any rash decisions if you are if you are in a relationship or um single don't don't make any uh, rash decisions because then we have uh, the moon card here um as much as um this is an intuitive card and um and this could mean here i don't see that um I see it both ways. I see that you are being your intuition is on point. Uh, you're being guided. Um, moon leads to uh, you know guide. Uh, the, the the moon card is also about being guided for me. Uh, so it's not only about confusion or deception or secrets or uh, all that. But this could be that because I see you having your guard up towards the end of the month. And the moment you'll have your guard up, uh, which you have here as well as um, in terms of pain of swords um, you will be happy you 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 will be the most fortunate person towards the end of this uh, towards the end of this month you will feel fortunate enough um, very much similar to the vision I had um, like with the overall energy of the devil and being obsessed could be obsessed with this person um but um i see you freeing yourself emotionally cutting all your ties um accepting new um, you know offers um being guided and accepting the guidance of the moon um we had a full moon on 18 so um we have a new moon coming up on um 7th or 8th um depending on which uh, part of the world you are but take uh, you know um be very cautious around that time um like in Mary and I said that uh, you have to be uh, you have to be willing uh, to get rid of a situation so um be guided be, uh, be careful of whatever is going on around you whether it's deception or not uh, you have to be very careful and uh, things will surface uh, which which will make you have your guard up um you will be protecting your own self you'll be like okay I, I don't want uh, to rely on others I want to rely on myself I want to have my guard up and in that particular moment you will be the most possible, most fortunate person on earth because um, you will be happier you will be released from all the, ne in all the negativity that will that might have surrounded you for some time um, uh, the Scorpio full moon was all about releasing negative energy so um, if you had taken good advantage of it and um, you know uh, release the negativity um, release uh, the past um, which has not no longer been serving you so you're golden honestly you're golden here um, okay let's get some clarifiers and see what is going on what is this knight of wands doing here Please. is this knight of wands doing here you have a pretty heavy month of june really will be a mixture of emotions both happy and um liberating Honestly, I wouldn't call this card um, here, um, Queen of Swords in Reverse, as um, emotionally burdened, but uh, emotionally, uh, you know, emotional wreck. Um, I would see this as uh, something um, liberating for you. Um, Knight of Wands is clarified by Five of Cups in Reverse and then the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Yes, this is definitely someone um lingering on uh, for uh, some quite some time now um someone who has um someone from your past honestly speaking someone who oh, right, I need to pull this up a little bit uh someone um you have a lot of remorse about because they uh, literally stabbed you in your back um they literally stabbed you in your back in the past and now you're like okay why are you and they're coming back to you and give you a surprise but you're like oh, all right no um 
no, 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 I don't want this. Uh, I don't really want want this. Uh, I'm, I'm too hurt from the loss. Uh, I'm too hurt um, from the depression I've been going through and the sadness I had to deal with and the hurt that I had to deal with. Uh, so this is someone from your past who have hurt you before, um, who have, who has like, um, who doesn't have your, sorry, I have to close this off, um, who doesn't have, um, a very good record in your um, life honestly speaking that that is one way to uh, put it oh, just give me a moment yes now we are back on sorry um but they're coming to and they're coming back and they're coming back to surprise you I don't see you as an excited. What is this mother of wands in reverse here for? So, um, you know, here we have devil again. Here we have the full uh, card in reverse. Yes, definitely somebody who was not uh, who you were obsessed with in the past, honestly. Um, this is someone, um, this knight of wands, so the Sagittarius energy is. Um, is someone you were obsessed with in your past but they were not willing to take the leap of faith they were not willing to take the leap of faith but they're coming back they're coming back to surprise you in the month of june in the beginning of june what is the star card in reverse here for what are these delays maybe this delay is all about you healing from this obsession we have the devil card twice your overall energy is the devil card as well uh, so um yeah the star card in reverse is all about being out of balance um yes definitely this person has wrecked your life in a in numerous ways um in more than in more ways than you could have imagined uh, you are still obsessed with them and that's why you're like, um, you know, out of balance and being out of balance means things get delayed in your life when you're not in control of your, you're not in control of your emotions or you're out of balance in life. Um, obviously there are delays, obviously there is some sort of um, sadness around you, there is a, an air of sadness, there is an air of um, resentment. Um, I haven't asked my question yet, so I'm not going to take these. And that's why I think you, you finally realize um, in the month of June, you'll realize that, okay, that I need to let go of all this um, crap over here and I need to take on the energy of the Queen of Souls and I have to. But closing yourself emotionally having your guard up is something else but closing yourself emotionally is it's not the solution because that means you're scaring away everything else which is coming towards you um what is this queen of swords in reverse doing here no wonder i had the vision of you being tied down like the devil card is all about that um a queen of swords is clarified by the ace of pentacles in reverse and the judgment in reverse definitely definitely you are taking on the energy um you're like okay whatever happened was um was not meant to be for me um so now i'm i'm gonna i have my time um you know i gave them i gave the other persons their sweet time to um be um, this kind of thing um, in my um, to do this to me so I'm um, now I'm not gonna take this shit anymore I'm gonna be an independent person uh, I'm gonna have my own life I'm gonna be very very independent in life and I'm not gonna give a crap about what the other person has done to me or they have in store for me i'm i'm gonna cut off all my ties i'm gonna be i i don't care if i'm a, you know um 
um, if I have to go through this entire process I will go through it and I will um, y you know um, y y this is in the judgment in reverse is um, also about feeling regret and feeling unfortunate and all that and you know thinking that maybe I've made a bad judgment about something or someone in your life uh, but again this is also a card of karma um, when judgment is in reverse it's all about uh, karma playing its part so y you are moving on uh, from the in the past you're like okay this was uh, this was um, the opportunity this was an opportunity which was missed uh, because this, this was not meant to happen so i'm gonna learn from my mistakes and i'm gonna have an emotionally I i'm gonna be emotionally closed off for now so that's why you're being like a little you have your you have your emotional boundaries up but um you shouldn't have be a little careful here uh, it's one thing to be emotionally independent. It's a totally different thing when you're like um, You have your walls up um, You're emotionally closed off because that means the next opportunity coming towards you um, Will not excite you as much and I can see that um, You you are having your guards up What is this king of pentacles doing here? Six minutes in and the Empress. So yes, this is and this is a fruitful. This is a. Um, this is an opportunity which will help you move on uh, this is an opportunity which can um, lead to something meaningful in your life abundance uh, whether it's abundance whether it's um, you know um, liberation whether it's emotional healing uh, you will have it all um, because um, this is uh, what the Empress card is all about being um, you know bringing new ideas into existence uh, having complete control um, over building and uh, protecting whatever you have in your life um, the uh, empress card for me is actually the magic of nature which is at play here so this is and um, the king of pentacles is is an art sign so um, nature he is also he also likes to work for um, work in nature so uh, having these two cards together I think um, I think this this is going to be a good opportunity for you but I don't see you um, opening up to this opportunity I don't see you uh, accepting this opportunity what is the seven of cups i, I see you um there's the seven of cups in reverse doing here um i see you not um you know taking another chance for now um strength in reverse yes uh, i you're not like um you're not taking another chance because you're somehow still torn by the, all of this uh, all of what happened uh, this is a good opportunity but you're not taking it you, you are um, you're not the master of your craft anymore you are uh, feeling deceived you're feeling deprived of you're feeling um, what do you call it um, the word slip out of my mind um yeah you you're like making rash decisions and i see that because you uh, you have taken the decision not to take uh, this king of pentacles and this is because you don't have the strength to deal with a relationship right now which in terms is kind of a good thing because you're, you're like okay i'm i'm gonna back out for a little bit and i'm gonna have some me time and i'm gonna heal myself um 
I don't care. I don't care about any anyone else. What is this moon card doing here? I don't care about anyone else. I, I just want to um I just want to have some me time. Um this moon card is clarified by the star card. So yes, feeling blessed. Um since things are coming into light, um you will be um once you're liberated, you will be like, Okay, this is a dream come true because once you start healing, once you are in control of your emotions, once you are you're building up your own self, you're like, Okay, um some people really like that and because not only it's because it's uh, liberating it's also um you know um it it gives you a feeling of satisfaction which i can see here for you and so uh, you are being very peaceful you're being creative we have a star card here twice once in reverse and then in uh, upright so you are at peace um with all these things coming to life um and coming to light with you being guided you have this hope again um you uh, you are this hope you have this hope that you are your own person uh, you don't need any uh, uh, anyone else you are your own inspiration you're healing um you are being intelligent uh, and you you are peaceful that's the most um that's the most wonderful thing in life and that's why you i see you having your guard up and then being really really happy about it <sighs> what is this nine of wands doing here nine of wands is clarified by the justice cast yes definitely you're taking your time if you're taking your sweet time to heal you are you're like no i'm not going to open up to love uh, right now i want to heal because this is the right thing to do uh, what is this sun card doing here this is the right thing to do and i'm gonna i'm gonna sit here uh, i'm not gonna take an, this opportunity um, i've been obsessed with people before and i don't want to uh, you know get into that particular shit again so i'm gonna be my own person all right my old tech um what is the sun card doing here it's it's a good month um because you're like we have the knight of souls here mm. so you're happy because you think that you deserve better you deserve someone who is um someone who is like more passionate more adventurous in life someone who will be a hero i i don't um really you're like i i i, I don't need any of this because i i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna heal myself and, and i'm gonna wait for somebody who who's like um who's like very courageous kind of person um uh, I'm, I'm gonna build up or this could be you building up your own courage and your own momentum um but you're waiting for that change uh which will sweep you off your feet um uh, somebody who is more compatible with you uh and for now i think you you uh, are having this um uh, you know feeling that uh, i'm not gonna settle for anything less than somebody who is uh, compatible with me um whether the person has you know everything i need in life i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna be um this is also part of bravery and um uh, and a very clever person so it could have mean it could have meant that um you are finally getting over your fears you're finally getting over your um abandonment issues you're finally getting over your addiction um we have seen addiction here twice um the devil card you're finally being free you're finally being honest let's get an article advice for you quickly because this is a 34 minutes in uh, life purpose the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others don't worry about finding your purpose instead focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you that's great that's great that sums up the whole thing that you know 
focus on something which is serving you and only then the rest of the things will fall in line for you um, this is going to be a very liberating very beautiful month for you though you have regrets though you have um, addictions though you have uh, remorse from your past and you're feeling weak you're feeling fearful um, but at the same time you're healing yourself you're not taking any chances you're like I'm not gonna take any anything which comes my way I'm gonna stay in place i'm gonna heal myself and i'm gonna get out of it stronger than ever um you guys have a wonderful month i'll see you for the bi-monthly and um this is a very positive reading this is a very positive reading i was skeptical that you were not uh, taking on this opportunity but it's a good thing that you're not taking this opportunity and you're rather uh, focusing on healing yourself that's that's a very wonderful thing to do Honestly, I'll see you next um, for, for the next reading, which is the bi monthly. Bye, guys.